Welcome back to Phenom Yachts The Build. I'm Sean Real, and today, the Phenom 43 is gonna see the water for the very first time. We've got these two cranes here, and they're gonna pick the 43 up, and then we're gonna slide the trailer underneath the boat. As you can see, there's a lot going on back behind me. These two cranes are gonna pick up to the opposite ends of the boat, lift it in the air. The trailer's gonna back in underneath it. We're gonna have our first look at the definitive weight of an actual build, which is really important to us as we move forward through this process. As you can see, this is some pretty heavy machinery we've got going here to pick this boat up. You can see the giant spreader bar back here. Each one of these, there's two of them, each one of them has a 10 ton rating. And what that does is it evenly distributes the weight between the two sides of the boat. It also holds the straps, the lifting straps, off of the edge of the boat so we don't bend anything in that make start scratching anything. As you can see, the D-ring actually has a digital scale built into it. They'll get this set to zero after everything's hooked up and we'll pull it up, we'll pull it to zero then we'll have a true weight when we pick the boat up because these digital scales are built into these two D-rings on the fore and aft side of the boat. All right, it's up. We're gonna pull the dolly out of the way, back the trailer underneath it. Right now, each side of the boat is getting weighed by these digital scales attached to it. We're getting a final reading. We'll have it for you in just a second. All right, 14.2 at the stern. 7,800 at the bow. We're right at 22,000 pounds. That's about perfect, right where we thought it would be. Okay, we've got the cranes unhooked. The boat's on the trailer. We're right at 22,000 pounds. We're gonna head to the fuel station to fill her up, put some water in it. We're gonna head to the water, and we're gonna do our initial checks and make sure that everything is sound. Then we'll do our first run. We'll come back with some performance data for you really soon. We've just arrived at a safe harbor location in Charleston. We just pulled up. They're gonna test the boat with the forks to see if they can forklift it up. If not, then they'll have to get the travel lift. Then they'll sling it with the travel lift and we'll run it all the way down to the launch. Once it's in the water, we're gonna do a full rundown on all the electronics and all the systems to make sure everything functions properly. And then it's time for the big test, our first run. Well, that was quick. Forklift doesn't work. It's not quite long enough. The forks don't quite go underneath the boat far enough. So in comes the travel lift. Travel lift is in place. All the straps are hooked together. They're gonna lift this boat up and they're gonna run it right down the runway, take it right to the water and splash. As you can see, each of these big straps is multiple pieces, each capable of almost 19 metric tons, more than enough for this boat. He's working on the aft strap section right now. He's gonna then go to the forward section. We should be in the water here really soon. All right, we're up and running. As you can see, we've got about $1.5 million hanging in the air. He's gonna run us about 200 yards this, back this direction and drop us right in the water.
finally made it to the water for the first time with the Phenom 43, and as you can see, they're just gonna walk it back. We have a lot of people here. There's a lot of people that have to get on and verify all the systems are set up properly. Once all that's done, then we're gonna take it on our first run and we'll share all that with you. If we came over here to the other side of the dock so we'd get you a really good shot of broadside down the boat. There was also a lot of stuff going on over there. We're doing engine checks, fathom battery system checks. You just saw the bow thrusters up and running. We're gonna start doing air conditioning and water start running. Lots of checks having to go into before we do our first run. All of our systems are checked out. We've got the engines up and running. They're doing one last check on the Fathom e-power system. And this is a, a system from Mercury that is a replacement for generators. And it takes the engines and turns them into an equivalent of a 5kW generator per motor. This system charges all the batteries and then all of the batteries run all of the systems on the boat, including the air conditioning, the water heater, the sea keeper. The system is gonna change the game. We're gonna go on a quick run with this boat and we'll have a whole lot more details on the Fathom system as well as the Phenom 43 in a future episode. That'll about wrap us up for the very first sea trial of the Phenom 43 today. We had an awesome day. We had our sea trial. We had our high-speed runs. All the systems got verified. Everything's functioning the way it should. We did see 66 miles an hour at the top speed, which we'll be able to tweak on a little bit more with props. At 40 miles an hour, we did see almost one mile per gallon. Again, some prop tweaking. We'll be able to dial that in just where we want it to be. Now, make sure you come check us out at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. We'll be there October 30th to November 3rd. Make sure you come check us out in booth 2084. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of The Build. Make sure you like and subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below. Thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next one.